Modern castles suck. I mean, kind of. They, they, they're, they're all right. Just hear me out, okay? First, themes, okay? I don't know if Xbox still has themes. I'm assuming they do. But the thing that pisses me off is that PlayStation had themes and PlayStation had paid themes on the PS4. You would pay to have these animated wallpapers. Some of them were all right. Some of them came with games. And then on PlayStation 5, you get nothing. You, you, I mean, it's a nice background, but why not at least, you know, make the themes backwards compatible? I get the new dashboard is different from the old one, but, you know, come on. Please? Please? They added a bunch of stuff to the UI, and, the, you know, the quick menu is different, and you can add a bunch of stuff in there. But you can't change the background. I mean, just think about having a random image as your background again. Not even an image, a, a video. You could probably have a video as your background if they really tried and wanted you to have customization. And it's it's been like, what, like two or three years since the PS5 was released? And you still can't change it. So they're pulling what the Switch did. And the Switch was probably the catalyst that started the whole thing. It released. It had a literal section that said themes, and all you got was black and white. Seven years later. And it remains black and white. We don't even have a web browser anymore. Which I understand because you really don't need a web browser with a gaming console. You have phones now. Everybody has a phone. Everyone just uses their web browser there either way. But stuff like communities back on PlayStation 4 and uh, Miiverse on Wii U. Those were ways for people to connect. Well, on PC you can connect but you know you have to connect to like Discord and stuff. And you know what Discord is like. If PlayStation and Xbox are going to put the time and money in a moderating voice chat and stuff like that, why not put the time and money in upkeeping those communities? People play all types of different games. Just being able to post something that's relevant to the game that I'm playing and share it with other people would be great. It would be fun. It would be silly. I would be able to like put stupid photos and stuff. It would be great. Okay, but for real though, I didn't really use either of them. The point is, they were an attempt at connecting players rather than limiting them, like how paying for online services is. Xbox. Xbox makes me mad, okay? They're the ones who started the whole pay for the online subscription thing, which is really stupid. It's really stupid because how the hell are you going to buy a goddamn full game with online capabilities and then to use the online capabilities you have to pay for a separate online subscription that's about $100 a year which is one third of the price of the actual console that you pay to play the damn game that you just bought. Listen, I'm not saying all subscriptions are bad. Xbox Game Pass seems like a pretty good deal. Paying extra for some different type of subscription on PS5 for PS3 games is a, a little strange, you know. You get some uh, kind of strange benefits with Nintendo Switch Online where you can change your icon and stuff, and that's pretty alright. Yes, it's a stupid rant, and yes, I get that it's not gonna change anything because things are gonna remain like that. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss having a stupid background on my PlayStation 4. And I kind of wish I could do the same with my PlayStation 5, you know, since I'm going to be using it for the next, what, 5, 10 years? So anyway, the point of this video is Sony. Please let me put a video of Snake skateboarding in Tony Hawk. Please. I beg of you.